Welcome, in front of me is a Xiaomi 14T Pro and today I will show you how you can go to the setup process of this device. So when you put it up for the very first time you should be presented with the same screen and all you can do is just press on an arrow and then find your desired language from the list. You can go to the next page and choose your region. Now it did select the correct one for me so I'm not going to be changing anything. And moving on, we have terms and conditions. Now you can read exactly what you're going to be agreeing to by clicking the user agreement and also privacy policy. But if you like every other normal person, you're probably just going to check the box that you have read and agreed to it, you carefully read, and then go to the next page without ever even opening it up. Uh, next we have a setup using another device. So you can basically set up this device using an older phone if you have one. I'm going to be going through this as though I don't have such a thing, so I'm going to select skip. It's going to start checking for SIM card, which you can insert your SIM card right now into the device, um, or you can ignore this. And uh, I do want to point out the reason it shows up here, even though we can insert a SIM card at any point, is because number one, you have also an eSIM option right here. Number two, the SIM card is one of the ways you can access internet, and number uh, or third uh, or other option would have been to Wi-Fi. And that will be used to uh, set the date and time correctly. If you have any kind of network connections, that'd be through SIM card, eSIM, or Wi-Fi. So yeah, like I said, that will be used to get your date and time set correctly. Also will give you the ability to log into Google account throughout the setup process and allow you to restore apps and data from a Google backup if you have one. I am going to be skipping basically everything. So connect to network, also skip. So the date and time might not be set correctly and I also won't see the Google login page. Next, we have some Google services like location, scanning, and sending and sending user and diagnostic data. You can toggle all of those off, but let's be honest, it's Google, so they're going to gather your data with or without your permission, no matter what they tell you. Uh, and then moving on to the next page, we have set uh, screen lock. So here you have a couple options. We have uh, face recognition, fingerprint, pin pattern, password. If you're planning to use any of the biometrics, meaning fingerprint or face recognition, you'll be forced to always select a pin pattern or password. The reason for that is uh, biometrics sometimes might change, uh, they might not be read correctly, and with that kind of circumstances, you'd lose access to your device, wouldn't be able to unlock it. Uh, hence, that would leave you with the other option being pin pattern or password, which isn't subject to change uh, if something happens to the biometrics. Um, again, I'm not going to be setting anything like that, so I'm going to select skip. Here we have some basic settings like location, sending user and diagnostic data. Now this is from Xiaomi, a uh, previous one was from Google. We have all, also automatic system update, personalized ads, sorry. <coughs> oh boy, I uh, needed to sneeze, Whew, boy, perfect timing. Anyway, uh, so uh, we have uh, automatic system updates, personalized ads, and some other things. Now, I only want to focus on one of those, which I find the most intrusive and one that shouldn't even be in a, any device whatsoever, which is obviously the personalized aids, uh, ads. Now, the reason I'm going to point this out is because not only is it here, it's also going to be using uh, this bullshit thing. So I just kind of demonstrate toggling on off literally everything else. Nothing gives anything, but a oh whole boy, if you try to turn that off, uh, when personalized uh, ad recommendations are off, you'll start to see some quantity of ads in system apps. So, huh? This makes kind of no sense. Uh, basically what, it, what this is in reality, um, no matter what kind of jargon they try to uh, bullshit you through, uh, it's it's a spyware that just listens and, and checks what you search for, what you talk about, and then gives you ads based on that. It tries to personalize uh, them to your interests. Now, if personalized doesn't sound intrusive uh, to you enough, uh, it basically means that whatever you're going to be sending messages, typing or talking, uh, because it's going to be using microphone, it's going to start ch listening to every, of, every one of those to for looking for keywords and then give you ads based on that. If you ever encounter that, for instance, when you have a bullshit ass Facebook that starts giving you ads uh, because you start talking about cat food. Yeah, you don't have privacy there. What a surprise. Lizardman wants you to wants to gather data without your permission. What a surprise there, right? 
So yeah, uh, this is basically the same uh, same bullshit. And uh, the reason I'm pointing that out is because anything else didn't give me a bullshit pop-up apart from this. Go screw yourself. No one wants you. Uh, oh, and also want to add is using reverse psychology too, because you know, uh, furthermore, uh, this kind of thing to you. Uh, typically when you try to do some action, you confirm it by pressing the blue button, which is always on the right side. This is just how Android is designed. But no, this piece of shit just decided to put it on the other side and also change the colors. So it makes you think that it's, uh, th th that it's the disagree that you actually don't want to turn it off. I absolutely despise this bullshit. So anyway, make sure you turn that shit off and then go to the next page. Then we have turn on uh, parental control. Again, that's just completely up to you. Moving on to the next page, we have some uh, fonts. Uh, you have two different options. We have the default and the, uh, the Xiaomi one. You can obviously see the change. It just honestly to me looks like one is bigger than the other one. Uh, I'm gonna stick with the default. Moving on to the next page, we have default launcher. We have the uh, up drawer or the Apple-esque kind of feel. I prefer the up drawer with the applications being kind of like swiped up uh, where all of them are alphabetically organized in an app drawer. And with that being said, this basically finished up the setup. So just wait for a moment, it's preparing system because it didn't have time to do that before, apparently. Come on, show me. Setting up app drawer doesn't take that long. And there we go, there is our home screen. So, with that being said, hopefully you found this very helpful, and if you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.